Okay, so here's the deal, folks. Got a stack of DVDs here that I want to put away and try to find a spot for them. Um, I've been putting off a DVD update for a while, but I'm going to go ahead and do one. I just want to go ahead and show these so I can get them out of the way and I can try to figure out a way to file these and find some room for them. But these are uh, some Big Lots titles and I think a couple, maybe maybe only one was like a mail order thing um, from Amazon. But let me go ahead and go through these and show you while I got them stacked up here and go ahead and get them out of the way. Alright, so we got, this is a Big Lots purchase here. We got uh, the Quest for Camelot. This is a Warner Brothers um, snapper case uh, here, of course. Um, but this is like an animated, uh, looks pretty cool. Looks like the animation's pretty good. Um, if you guys know anything about this, let me know. It looks like it's uh, pretty cool. So, uh, has voices like Eric Idle and Carrie Elwes, Don Rickles, Gary Oldman, Jane Seymour, Pierce Brosnan, Bronson Pinshot. Some cool people here on the voices. This was done by... Um, I'm not sure what studio. Maybe it's a Warner Brothers original. I'm not sure, but if you know anything about this, uh, let me know. But this is Quest for Camelot. I wanted to pick that up. Looked pretty cool for three bucks. I love this comedy. I don't know why it was not in my collection before. I got this on Amazon. This is uh, the Tom Hanks comedy, That Thing You Do. Um, this is the two disc. Uh, has the extended cut and the original. Now, I started watching the extended cut, which, by the way, has about 40 extra minutes of footage. I didn't like the way it flowed. It just didn't feel right. It, it the, the the scenes you know seemed out of place, and I could I could see why he cut them from the original film. Um, but this is cool. Uh, it's got some good special features. Uh, it's got a uh, you know featurette and uh, HBO first look music video. This is a great film. If you guys have not seen this comedy, check it out. This is really fun and just an excellent. Uh, Excellent, you know, directorial debut. I, I'm assuming from Tom Hanks, and uh, hard to believe he wrote this and did such a great job with it. But I, I love this film. I never get sick of it. But that's that thing you do. Another big lots buy here, Clint Eastwood collection. I've gotten several of these now. This is Bronco Billy. Have not seen this one, um, but looks looks pretty good. Don't know anything at all about it. Uh, another snapper case, but like I said, I've picked up several of these Clint Eastwood collection movie so um, every time I see one in big lots that I don't have uh, I tend to want to grab that so there you go this was also from big lots and this one was actually five dollars they've been doing some five dollar titles now but I didn't have this and I love this film this days of thunder um, Tom Cruise of course uh, Robert Duvall's in this this is the uh, Canadian release because it has a uh, French and English print on the uh, on the case here the synopsis there in French, you know, and English, uh, as well as the title. Um, however you say that, I'm not going to try to pronounce it, but Days of Thunder, great film. I'm not really into NASCAR much at all, but I like this movie for some reason. I just think it's a it's a very well done movie, so Days of Thunder. Let me readjust this camera here a little bit. I didn't have this one either. This was Spies Like Us. I love this film. This was at Big Lots for three bucks. Um, Chevy Chase, Dan Aykroyd, classic comedy, just absolutely hilarious. Um, with spies like these, who needs enemies? <laughs> Great. Um, the only thing about this is it is standard version, full screen, which I don't like that. But like I say, for three dollars, I mean, you know, I can't complain too much. I mean, that's just uh, for the price. But there you go. This is a really funny movie, so I had to have this for my comedy collection. Spies like us. This looked pretty good. The Last Voyage. This is a uh, sort of one of these movies like, um, what's that one with the boat sinking? Not Titanic, but um, ah, I can't think of it all of a sudden. Uh, but anyway, this is like one of these, you know, yeah, it's like Poseidon Adventure. That's what it was. But it's like one of these disaster movies, I guess. It has Robert Stack. Um, and uh, this is from 1960. So who knows what it's going to be like, but um, looks pretty cool. If you guys have seen it or know anything about it, Feel free to leave a comment. Looks pretty cool to me. I like the cover art too, so looks fun. That was another three dollars. Also, Big Lots three bucks. This is Altered States. This was kind of a weird, kind of creepy movie. Um, this has um, William Hurt. He's a great actor, uh, and uh, I don't really know the other ones, the other people in it, but uh, I remember this was pretty cool, and I don't remember a lot about it, but um, this one is uh, widescreen format. Another snapper case. Like I say, these Warner Brothers titles do seem to be lots of snapper cases. Uh, another snapper case, City Hall. 
uh, Al Pacino, John Cusack, Bridget Fonda, Danny Aiello. City Hall looks like a pretty cool movie. Don't know anything about it, but uh, again, if you guys want to comment on any of these, please let me know. Um, I'll always like to read your comments, so there you go. This has uh, not really any special features, but another snapper case. There you go, City Hall. Pick up this Michael Douglas double feature. This has Black Rain and Fatal Attraction. Um, I haven't seen Black Rain, but Fatal Attraction was a crazy movie, and I actually watched it again shortly after I got this. I think it's a well done movie, very suspenseful and uh, cool. So I just, I really bought this for Fatal Attraction, but uh, I'm looking forward to checking out Black Rain too. If you guys have seen that, leave a comment, please. This is cool though, double feature. That was, uh, I think that was six bucks at uh, Big Lots because uh, of two films, but it was still worth it. And it has two separate discs too. It's not just like a flipper disc, so that's cool. This is Safe Men. Look pretty funny. Sam Rockwell, Steve Zahn, Mark Ruffalo, Paul Giamatti. Um, looks like some thieves that are just these, uh, I guess, disorganized thieves. Uh, this was a Sundance Film Festival comedy. Uh, looks pretty fun. Collector's edition. So I thought I'd pick that up for three bucks. And that is Safe Men. Uh, Eastern Promises. I heard this was a great film. Uh, v Vigo Mortensen, Naomi Watts, Vincent Castle. Um, the only thing about this, after I got home, I realized it was in full screen, which kind of ticks me off. I don't know why I didn't notice that. Um, it has a couple bonus, bonus features. This is a David Cronenberg film. have not seen this. I don't like the full screen aspect of it. Um, I should have been more careful when looking at that, but for three bucks, uh, I'll check this one out. Maybe trade it at some point, something like that. Eastern Promises. The Suburbans. This has uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt, uh, Amy Brenneman, Will Ferrell. Uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Can't go wrong with her. And um, anyway, it looks like a pretty cool movie. I think she tries to resurrect some 80s band. Um, I always like movies that have 80s elements in them. I think they're fun. So, looks pretty cool. If you guys have seen this again, please comment. The Suburbans. Looks pretty good. I, like I said, I've not seen that one. Not seen several of these. Uh, this is Heart Beeps. Andy Kaufman, Bernadette Peters, one of these robot type movies, probably really stupid and silly, but uh, three bucks, look kind of fun from the cover art and everything, so I um, thought it'd be really unique. Uh, again, if not seen this, post a comment if you'd like, that is Heart Beeps. And finally, and I saw this one right when I went in there, this is a really cool addition too, it's called Backbeat, I've not seen this, but it's like the story of the Beatles or something, um, Cheryl Lee, Stephen Dorff, um, Nice collector's editions in this cool slip case. Uh, I like these music films a lot that deal with, you know, bands, stuff like Walk the Line and, um, and you know, ones like that, The Doors, things like that. Um, I can't seem to get this out of the slip case, but it actually has like a sort, sort of like a digipack type thing inside. I can't, like I say, it's too tight here to shake out of there. So unfortunately, I can't show you that, but it's a good packaging and everything for three bucks. So there we go. Um, kind of sped through those quick. Uh, like I say, haven't seen the majority of them. And yeah, some more snap cases and stuff. But this is really cool looking here. Um, again, you guys comment on any of these um, that I mentioned I haven't seen. And I would appreciate your opinion. So thanks. Uh, there's a. Uh, well, the stack's falling over. But there we go. Big stack of movies there. I got to go through those, try to file them away. Just wanted to go ahead and uh, do that and show you guys. Um, I don't know when I'll have another update, but um, thanks for tuning in, and uh, you guys take care, and I'll see you see you soon. Peace out.